I remember when I first took MDMA, everything felt good. Everything felt more than good. It felt like an orgasm, okay? Literally, I was just doing this on my hand, and it felt like an orgasm. Like, it felt that good, okay? And I know that's a little, like, uh, what's the word? It's a little bit uh, grotesque, is that the word? I don't know. Explicit, okay? But it's true. And that was three, four years ago that I did MDMA. The last time I did MDMA. Three years ago. Yeah, it's 2024 almost. So, yeah, three years ago. And lately, like for the last year, since doing self-improvement very consistently and doing all those like habits of like gratitude journaling and positive thinking and uh, meditation and all this stuff. I've had so many moments of just pure bliss, pure happiness, to the point where I can literally come on the camera, don't take that out of context, I can come on camera and say for 10 minutes how good my life is, even if it's like kind of objectively not that great, like I'm not at the place where I want to be, this is not what, like obviously there are many things that I want to change about my life, right, and that's what I'm working towards, but I'm still enjoying being alive so much to the point where this actually feels good. And it's like, bro, I don't know what this is. It's like, even just being alive, it feels good. And it, literally for the last like couple days, I've been in bed feeling like shit. So what is it that I finally feel really good again? Is it the fact that I actually went out for a bike ride? Is it the fact that I went to work for two hours instead of four hours? And, you know, that's not a good thing because I need more hours at my 9 to 5 because I'm trying to invest all that money into, like, things that I actually want to do on my business side. Eh, hell yeah. But, yeah. There are so many, like, mundane moments of life that could literally give you the most joy and the most happiness. But the thing is, most people aren't actually aware of it because they're too distracted to actually enjoy the moment that they're living. For example, I could go on a walk. And I'll feel some sense of calm and bliss and presence because I'm there and I'm soaking in the information. I'm soaking in the environment. I'm soaking in, you know, the, the cold winds against my, my, my face. I'm soaking in the, the sounds of the birds and the trees rustling in the wind. And that, that nice environment, right? But then I'll be walking past someone else and you can kind of tell that they're not actually there, okay? First of all, it, it you know, they've got their Air Air AirPods in, or they're listening to music, or they're literally on their phone as they walk. Sometimes it can be as just as subtle as they're not thinking, or rather, they are thinking. You can tell when someone's, like, deep in thought, when they're having, like, anxious thoughts, like, oh, what am I going to do tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to be late to that thing tomorrow that I have to plan everything. You know, you can tell when someone's, like, mind-wandering. At least I can. I think that's one of the nice things about just not using social media, not getting distracted, not allowing yourself to to occupy that boredom. If you occupy the boredom with things that are kind of boring or hard instead, like, okay, I'm bored, I'm gonna, like, record a bunch of YouTube videos. That's what I'm doing right now. And it feels fucking amazing. <laughs> So yeah, I, uh, <sighs> life is good, man. I'm just, I'm tired of talking about how life is good. I'm going to take a break. I hope you're doing good, man. Mwah.